as you will learn to be able to differentiate between the egoic mind that will have you look for fear in all circumstances, that will have you look to rationalize and justify why you feel that you must judge one another, why you feel that you must judge yourself. And then there comes the choice, the free will choice to say, regardless of what circumstances, regardless of what being comes before me, I will allow myself to see only love. I will allow myself to experience only love. I will allow myself to know and remember only love and know that if I have a fear of something or of someone or a certain circumstance, that I will look within to find out what this is reflecting and know that at each and every instance, all you have ever done is invite to yourself an unrevealed aspect of, of shadow that is knocking upon your door saying, let me show you love. Let me show you truth. Let me show you the aspect of self that has only ever wanted to return home. Beloveds, when you have a complaint within the mind, when you have a fear within the mind, what you are doing is you are setting up an entire dynamic, an entire structure, an entire energetic platform to deny the love of God for you to throw yourself upon the floor and say, God, all I want to know is you. Lord, take me, do with me what you will. Thank you for the circumstance where I feel that I am out of control. Thank you for the circumstance where I am being reminded that only love is real. Thank you for the circumstance where I'm allowing myself to feel victimized. For what I am truly allowing myself to do is to remember that only love is real. So before you would utter a single criticism or a single complaint before you would cast a certain judgment beloveds allow yourself to do one thing and one thing only and that is to pause and to say thank you source creator for this magnificent representation and reminder that only love is real i will use fear i will use judgment and i will allow myself to reverse it and to see that all this is an indication that i have forgotten to just praise and love all that is. Yeshua has bestowed me with the honor of saying that I have been the greatest example of a Christ being for him. And beloved, truly, what I was able to do was use the love that I felt for him and understand that it was truly the love that I had for creation itself. When you allow yourself to fall in love with him and understand that he is quite easy to love, very pleasing to the eyes, very pleasing to the senses. When you allow yourself to love a being that deeply, you can only help but understand that this is truly the love of God that is being represented in a mortal form. The two of us falling in with one another, two of us knowing each other as we had, was merely only a representation of what it is to be and to live within a divine relationship, a holy relationship, a truly holy relationship, beloveds. And that relationship, rather than being assigned to a human being, is meant to be assigned to God. And thank goodness for the beings that come into our lives who treat us with kindness and tenderness and generosity, who are the stepping stones to remind us of our relationship with divinity itself. So use each and every being that comes before you and say, show me how I can love you more. Show me the way to go home. Show me the stepping stone that you are to remind me that only love is real. Show me the way that you are to remind me of my true self by how much I love and adore you, by how much I treasure you, which is truly the relationship that is meant to be held, the holy relationship that is meant to be held with creation itself. If I and the Father are one, then so are you, the outward projection of what remains unhealed within my mind. And when I can fall madly and deeply in love with myself, when I love myself as God loves me, 
and you allow yourself, beloveds, to fall truly and madly and deeply in love with yourselves, you will love the way that God loves you. And that is the journey. That is the pathway. And you are all well upon the pathway, beloveds. So go, as always, with my blessings and my love. Indeed, call upon me when you need to be reminded. When you know that you cannot take one further step because you have rejected and you have judged and you have cursed yourself or another. You know that I stand with you, next to you, behind you, before you, whatever it is that you need, beloved, so that you can be reminded that you are as precious and as beloved as any of us. My blessings to you always, beloved brothers and sisters. I love you, and I will speak with you again.